I'd like to hold your hand. I'd like to hold your hand so hard that you're not able to shake hands for a week. Oh. Are you just going to talk about holding my hand? Or are you going to hold it? Then, a little later, Robin caught them. Um. Holding hands. I knew it! I could feel it! It's almost like we were hooking up with her together. You felt that, right? Couldn't have performed if I did. <sighs> Don't you see, Teddy? We had a bro nection. All right, I gotta know what she looks like. Show me a picture. Well, normally I'm above such things, but it's been a while, and uh, Teddy's bragging. Mm -hmm. Okay, here she is. Okay, scrolling up. I think I dropped an ice cube down here. God, it's so cool. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. In a minute. The knee bruise is encouraging. Working our way up to those 20-year-old tatas. Oh. <laughs> now let's get a gander at Dirty Girl's face. That's my sister, Ted. Look, I didn't know. None of us even knew you had a sister until two years ago, including you. This is just some crazy coincidence. You banged my sister, my sweet, little, innocent. Pierce. Really? Where? Don't answer that! Now I know why I felt everything you did to her last night. It wasn't a bro nection, it was a cis nection. Oh my god, Ted. Did you. Big time. Oh. Looks like that bee got busy. Huh. Looks like that French maid didn't turn down somebody's bed. Uh oh, looks like uh, Pocahontas has a couple of wounded knees. Come on, Marshall. That's a line no, it's you just don't, don't, we get it. Fine. Hey, Barney, let me ask you something. Were you uh, feeling a little sore this morning, especially? <gasps> Friendship over. Times we never got to hear your virginity story. That's yeah. right, I almost forgot. It was a camp, so I'm. What camp? This place in the Catskills. Look it up. I was there teaching for the summer. So. What did you teach? Uh, dance. Dance? Yeah, Ted, dance. Maybe you've heard of it. It was just a simple summer job, but it turned into so much more. Her name was Frances Houseman. But everyone called her baby. Yo, yo. Yes, Mickey. How you call your lover boy? Come here, lover boy. And if he doesn't answer? Oh, lover boy. And if he still doesn't answer? I simply say, baby. Oh, baby. My Baby and her family spent every summer at Kellerman's. Her dad did not approve of our love. Did anyone put Baby in a corner? Oh, God, no. What can I say? I had the time of my life. True story. Mm. Hi there, sexy. Hello, Aunt Kathy. What's up? Oh, nothing. Just sitting here, thinking about you, hot stuff. An accident? Well, is Uncle Rudy gonna be okay? Aunt Kathy's got an itch that only you can scratch, big boy. Oh, God. Why did he think he could build his own helicopter? Come on, Daddy. Break me off a piece of that white chocolate. Well, if he needs a transplant, he can have mine. I'll be right there. You know, I just... <laughs> See you guys later. Put on my chest. Table at Casa Apezi, they're booked for weeks. Well, lucky for you, I happen to know the head waitress, which is ironic because. You want to see the building that'll make every man in Spokane feel inadequate? Well, obviously. Wow. Yeah. You know, you didn't mention all the foliage around the base. If you trim that back, the rest would look bigger. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> wow, you know, I really should check out this subway. Heard so much about it. Wow, look at me, slumming it. <laughs> Maybe 
I'll make a weekend out of it, and I'll call my bridge and tunnel girl tonight. You're dating a girl from New Jersey? No. <laughs> so, being married, different, not different? It's the same, mostly, except I think I might be getting carpal tunnel. My hand keeps cramping up. I thought the whole point of getting married was that you didn't have to do that anymore. <laughs> no, it's from writing all the thank you notes. Mostly. How you doing there, Robin? I'm good. Oh, so I made a decision. I'm gonna go through all my old stuff, and I'm getting rid of anything I have no use for. Please try to look at this with the innocence of a child. Innocence of a child. Innocence innocence of a child. Okay. Coming up. Here we go. Okay, space teens, let's multiply. Five times six. Thirty. Yes. Seven times four. Twenty-eight. Keep going. Eight times nine. Seventy-two. Don't stop now. Almost there. Twenty-three times three. We gotta ration this. Give it a week. You'll get her back. And her front. Oh, oh, oh. oh, did you just feel that? I think we just had a what upquake. I don't want her back. Or her front. Okay, fine, I'll watch it with you. Yeah! But if either of you makes even one peep about this show being dirty, I'm turning it off. We... I'm serious. <laughs> hey, Jessica. How's your beaver? Good. Great. How's your beaver? Busy as ever. <laughs> Our characters had pet beavers. <laughs> sure. Okay, girls, everyone knows a beaver's favorite food is wood. I just hope we brought along enough of it for our three-day galactic space journey. So let's do the math. If Robin's beaver devours six inches of wood every half hour, and Jessica's beaver devours eight inches of wood every 45 minutes, how much wood will I need to keep both of these beavers well-fed all weekend long? Speaking of the power of Valentine's Day... What are you talking about? Oh, come on. It's, it's past midnight. A desperation day has come and gone, and you have neither gone nor come. That spring, I just started dating a girl named Royce. She was smart, beautiful, blah, blah, blah. We're very happy together. But? Exactly. That's the problem. Her butt? What is it, too much? Too little. Or is it an issue of access? <laughs> no. It's kind of see-through. Whoa, mm -hmm. oh, you weren't kidding. <laughs> you know when you should give that to her? 1850. <laughs> Robin, it's her bridal shower. All her friends are going to be there. They're going to be drinking. You need to get her something daring, something outrageous. Well, what do you think I should get her? There's a store on 8th Avenue that specializes in... How to put this delicately? Uh, Battery-powered adult recreational fake penises. <laughs> 18 weeks? Oh, damn it. Okay, yes. I am in a bit of a dry spell, hmm. but I just started a new job, and dating's been on the back burner, and I... Child, listen, if you're really hurting for it, I'd be more than happy to throw you one. Throw me one? Yeah, or exes, or probably do for a backslide, or we could just do it the normal way. And so Aunt Robin went to a store on 8th Avenue and bought a battery-powered adult recreational... Well, it was something inappropriate. <laughs> Why would you do that? I, I thought you'd like it. Who likes that? I like it. Robin! <laughs> oh, so glad you're here. Hey. Come in, I want you to meet everybody. Robin, this is my grandma Lois. Oh, and my aunt Laura. Nice oh, nice nice to meet you, dear. They put this whole party together. Oh, it's different from what I expected, but lovely. I mean, we've already done everything else. I mean, we've even. Oh, la 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 I forgot something somewhere, so I'm gonna just go up and this is my mom, Janet. Oh, oh. I'm so glad to finally oh, meet you. Me too. I, I've heard so much about you. you. Oh, here. Oh, let me take your um. gift. 
And guess what it is? Is it a, a, a mini food processor? No, no, no. Oh, give me a hint. What color is it? Black? Funny. I hope you're ready for tonight, because you're going to have to use muscles you haven't used in years. I am? Yes. And I hope you have some aspirin at home, because your ass is going to be killing you tomorrow. It is? Indeed. Because tonight, I'm strapping on this. We're going skating! The pork authority's closed. Looks like it's hand central station for you, little buddy. <laughs> this is my cousin Margaret! Oh, finally someone our own age! <laughs> Wait, do I introduce you as Cousin Margaret or Sister Margaret? Well, I'm not officially confirmed as a nun until next month, and I don't want to tick off the big guy. So, <laughs> stick with Cousin for now. <laughs> God's watching. Excellent. Come on. Barney Stinson always turns it around. How? Simple. I turned it around. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. As many times as Robin told this story over the years, she would never quite be able to explain the logic of her next move. Mm. Mm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You know what would really prove we're not some old married couple? Mm. Doing it somewhere we're not supposed to. <gasps> no, not what I mean. Like the elevator, the pool cabana. Uh, how about the roof? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This one's from Grandma Lois. Oh, <laughs> Before you open this, I, I want to say a few words. Okay, something you need to know. Grandma Lois thought she was giving her granddaughter an antique sewing machine. The Let's Move In Together sex was pretty amazing. I know. I did that thing with no hands I normally need both to do. Mm-hmm. This handy little device has been in our family for generations. I used it, her great-grandmother used it. Now, her mother didn't use this one, but she used one just like it. Of course, back then, they were made out of wood. And uh, I guess before that, you just had to do it by hand. Would you pass the wine, please? No. It wouldn't you though. Oh, we're trying to do it someplace naughty. <gasps> Not what I mean. That, that is never what I mean. When I was a girl, my mother taught me and my sister to use it. We used to have contests to see who could finish faster. It was, it was so exciting. The whole family would gather around to watch. And when I was a new bride, this is what kept me busy. All those long nights when your grandfather was in Korea. And speaking of your grandpa, Though I don't think he'd care to admit this to any of his army buddies, but he'd have a go at it every once in a while. <laughs> and he enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, open it up, sweetie. May this gift bring you as much joy as it's brought me. Um. Well. well, take it out, honey. I want to show you how to use it. Oh, no, no, don't take it out. Lily, that's not your grandma's gift. It's mine. I panicked and I switched the cards because I was embarrassed. What is it? You will be so glad you did not get the other half of that butterfly. Actually, I was going to get a little more than the butterfly. It's good that I ran into you. Marshall Blauman saved you from a lifetime of looking at Sugar Ray every time we do it on your birthday. I just want to fly. I'm going to love it here. Oh, we'd have so much room in the suburbs. You can get that pinball machine you've always wanted. You can put it anywhere you want. Stop it. You don't know what you're saying. Anywhere. Upstairs, downstairs. You can stick it in the back. Willie, I want to be inside this house so bad. Robin's my new best friend. Nobody bangs her. Hey, hey, hey. She only rejected me three times. She's still very much in play. I'm serious. 
There's only one way I'd let either of you have sex with her. <gasps> Not that. It's never that. Marsha, this house wants you so bad. Mow my lawn. Break my leaves. Winterize my pipes. Yes. Yes, I'm coming to terms with this decision. I can't believe you got me this. Oh, I only did it as a joke. I can return it for you if you want. Oh, no, it's okay. You don't have to go all the way back down there. I'll, I'll just throw it away. Well, I mean, if you're gonna throw it away, maybe I'll take it in, in case I get invited to another wedding shower. It's a great gag gift. Yeah, it's really funny. Hmm. You know who would get a kick out of it? Marshall. So, so maybe I'll just hold on to it. I would be embarrassed if Marshall found out that I bought it for you. So I, I better just take it with me. my ice cream cone. We'll lick it side by side. Wow, this is so dirty. Come on, Barney. It's a sweet song about friendship. Yeah, dude. Come on. <laughs> Over the years, we had spotted two strangers who looked exactly like members of our group. Hey, hey, hey. Lesbian Robin. Well, I'd say you got a pretty long wait. That's sweet. It would be sweeter if you hadn't thought I was a tranny before, but it's still sweet. I'll be back in one second. I bet he's going to the urinal. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I had a penis. Wow. Thanks for explaining that. I get so confused. That's because you're a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why we're laughing. Oh, of course you don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ted, I'm really looking at her face. Oh, that's actually really sweet. Puffy cheeks, smudged mascara, slightly red nose. That girl was just crying. She's so sad and defenseless. Anyone have a condom? Oh. That success rate. That's my hook. I could maybe find somebody for you if you were gay. Well, I'm not. A little bi, maybe? No. <laughs> Aww. Tonight's the night, guys. I've tried it before. I failed every time. This time, I am going to do it. Tonight, I pick up a lesbian. <laughs> Robin, I need your lipstick. Oh, man. Take pictures, all right? <laughs> Bye, Ted. Together, let's be. You don't buy beer, you rent it. Am I right? This, this is the men's room. I know. I'm a dude. Here's your toast. Single file, ladies. No fatties. That's ridiculous. Yeah, you're right. It's Cleveland. Single file, ladies. Last night, I stood out on the street for five hours showing your photo to random pedestrians. No takers. <laughs> Although this transvestite hooker said he, she would do you for half price because you kind of look like John Cusack and his, her favorite movie was saying. is cold-blooded her. It was a whole chicken. And did I mention she had 12 sides? Oh, so now you're gonna bash her figure. Real classy, Ted. <laughs> At one point, I'm pretty sure I sold a woman. I didn't speak the language, but I shook a guy's hand, he gave me the keys to a Mercedes, and I left her there. Uh, the lamb here is supposed to be great. Oh, I am a vegan. I wish I could tune out that moral voice inside me that says eating animals is murder. But I guess I'm just not as strong as you are. That's because you need protein. I'll have the lamb. No, 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 baby, don't worry. The flashing green light means it's off. How does any of this help me? Can somebody, for God's sakes, please give me one piece of useful advice? Lily, control your woman. Chinese? Oh. I don't like Chinese. Indian? I just said I don't like Chinese. Indian isn't Chinese. Weird meats, funny music, cider rice. Why are we splitting hairs? Of course, not all investments pay dividends. See the girl over there at the vending machine, Tanya? She is one Kit Kat away from junk bond status. Video's pretty good on this phone, huh? Is your phone on? No, it just takes a while to power down. <laughs> <laughs> Bimbos have always been there for me, through thick and thin. Mostly thin. B-men don't do thick crust. What up? I disagree. If there's some potential O moment, I want to know about it right away. I mean, what's the alternative? I now pronounce you man and wife. 
I love you. I used to be a dude. You really don't have time right now, but if you ever do, you give me a call. Yes. Okay. And that, kids, is how you turn a no into a yes. Yeah, it's gonna be sweet, too. Like tonight, we're tasting all these different wines, pairing them up with these cool gourmet cheeses. Wow, who knew being in a committed heterosexual relationship could make a guy so gay? <laughs> hey, Barney, there's a bunch of models in the lobby, and the gossip is one of them is really a dude. You want to play who's hot and who's Scott? It's always the one in the turtleneck, Ted. I'm going to be nervous because my friend Robin has agreed to help out. Because you threatened to put a video of us on the internet, which I'm still not convinced you have. Right, which is why you came all the way from Brooklyn at midnight. So, where should we eat today? Oh, awesome. You brought lunch for everyone? 